Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to Watts Workshop. I'm here with Jeff today who's going to talk about quick change drinking water systems. Jeff, I drink a ton of bottled water every day and it's costing me a small fortune. How can the system help me out in any way? Dan, I used to also drink a lot of bottled water and it is very expensive. And there's also the concern of the environmental impact because these empty plastic bottles are filling up our, our landfills at a record rate. Um, we have the Watts drinking water systems that can help with that. The first thing we have is our drinking water system. It has a sediment filter which takes out particulate matter such as sand and other uh, suspended solids. We have our carbon filter which takes out chlorine, chloramines, taste and odors. And then we have our UF membrane which takes out uh, very small particles like bacteria and cysts. Provides high quality drinking water for a fraction of the cost. How is the RO system different? The RO system produces true bottled water quality. It has the same type of sediment filter. We have a carbon filter that removes the chlorine that could damage the RO membrane. Then we have our RO membrane, which separates the water into a purified stream and a concentrate stream. The RO membrane removes metals, minerals, salts, bacteria, viruses. It's the best type of water treatment membrane there is. After the um, RO membrane, we have a storage tank, and as you use the water, it comes out of the storage tank and goes through the final filter. Can this be used on city or well water? Absolutely. It can be used on any potable water supply to provide you with high quality drinking water. Uh, is this working on a whole house filtration system? or? No, this is what's called a point of use system or a POU system. It produces a relatively small amount of water which is adequate for drinking and cooking. Okay. Can I use this on my refrigerator? or ice maker? Absolutely. Your water quality dealer will have the components necessary to hook this up to your refrigerator or ice maker while he's performing the installation. How easy is it to change out the filters? It's very easy to change out these filters. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at the difference between changing the filters on a traditional residential RO system and the quick change system. Okay, Dan, here we have a, a typical residential RO installation and I'm going to show you what's involved with changing the cartridges. The tools you'll need are perineal nose pliers and hopefully you still have the bowl wrench that came with the system. First thing we're going to do is shut off the water supply to the unit and close the tank uh, valve because we're going to be changing the RO membrane. Then you want to loosen the cartridge with your wrench and then unscrew the cartridge. Take out your old cartridge and hand me the new cartridge please Dan. Thank you. Make sure you have the, the gaskets on your new cartridge and snug it up with your bowl wrench and then you would repeat that same process for the other two cartridges. Now let me show you how to change out the RO membrane. First you need to make sure your storage tank is closed and loosen the tubing connection on the end of the membrane housing and you unscrew your membrane end cap and then with your pliers reach in Grab the membrane, then you would take your new membrane and install it in just like it came out. Reinstall your end cap, make sure the o-ring is still in place, and then reconnect your tubing. Then you would want to turn on your feed water, let the thing pressurize, make sure there's no leaks, and then clean up your mess. So Dan, you can see that this is very time consuming, cumbersome, it makes a mess and it requires tools. Let me show you how it works with the quick change. Okay Dan, now let me show you how easy it is to change the cartridges on the quick change RO system. And by the way, on this system you do not have to shut off the feed water or the storage tank. To remove the cartridge, simply pull it towards you and turn it quarter turn counterclockwise and it pulls right out. By the way, the cartridges and the system are color coordinated, so there's never a question as to which cartridge goes where. Remove the sanitary cap, insert the cartridge, give it a quarter twist, put it down, and go for the next one. Now we're going to change the carbon cartridge. That first one was the sediment filter. Thank you. Again, simply insert the cartridge, quarter turn clockwise, put it down, lift it up, quarter turn counterclockwise and remove it. How often should a homeowner replace these cartridges? The first two cartridges, the carbon filter and the sediment filter, should be changed every six months. The RO membrane, which is what I'm changing now, and remember how difficult this was to change on the other system. This is simply a quarter turn. 
this membrane should be changed approximately every year, along with this final filter. Thank you. That's it. Easy to do, no mess. That was easy. How about drinking water systems? It's nearly identical. The only difference is you have to turn off your feed water valve, and there's no RO membrane and no RO storage tank. Well, this sounds like a great way to get high quality drinking water in my house at a fraction of the cost of bottled water. It is. It's, very not, it's a very economical way to get high quality drinking water in your home. And the RO system is certified to NSF standard 61 and standard 58 and carries the Water Quality Association's gold seal. This means that you can be assured that you'll get consistent high quality water in your home. Sounds great. How do I get quick change installed in my house? Call your Watts Water Quality dealer. They can come to your home. They'll test your water determine which system is right for you, and then they can install that system for you. Great. Thanks, Jeff. This is Dan. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.